<sighs> um, it's nothing really. I think someone I was close to has mentioned her before. I was hoping we'd have the chance to meet someday. But once she was in front of me, I just froze up. Man. You're right. Next time, I'll say everything I've been wanting to say. So you're the Spriggan, are you? I'll just come out and say it. Take your poisonous fangs out of my friend. I've heard a lot of unpleasant rumors about you. They call you a good-for-nothing who takes on all manner of borderline criminal requests. You're just taking advantage of her kind nature to force her to do your dirty work, aren't you? Sorry, but stay out of this, Agnes. Well, aren't you going to deny it? You can't! Can you? H how do you... Wh what's wrong with being concerned about your friends? This all started because you casually decided to hire her without thinking of the consequences. If word was to get out that Agnes is working with seedy people like you, it would put her father in a very... I'm sorry. I said too much, but I still... There you are. I knew we'd find you here. You really need to stop charging in like a bull in a glass shop, Albert. <laughs> he never changes. What are you two doing here? We're here to tell you off. Duh. I thought I already told you that you need to let Agnes live her own life. You have serious tunnel vision when it comes to her, and you need to do something about it. N no I don't. I just... Odette, by the way. Nice to finally meet you all. I've heard a lot about you guys from on Yes. Oh, you must be fairy. Oh my goodness, you really are so adorable. And wow, I knew you were hot, Erin, but the sun's got nothing on you. And 
Well, yeah, Van, you've got some mega bad boy vibes, which, trust me, only makes you look cooler. You're a lot younger than I was expecting, by the way. I thought you'd be way older. No offense. <laughs> Don't mind our resident ball of energy over here. We're all members of Aramis Academy Student Council. Agnes is in charge of general affairs. I apologize, our treasurer got a little... ahead of himself. <sighs> Sounds like a good deal to me. Well, all I ask as student council president and her dorm neighbor is that you do your best to keep her safe. Now, let's get going, Albert. Agnes clearly still has some work to do. We should leave her to it. Wait, I I'm not finished. Really? Very well. As long as you finish the budget I asked you to handle, you can stay. You did finish that before coming out here, correct? Um, well... <sighs> Meanwhile, Agnes handled every one of those tedious purchase requests I made before coming to her quote-unquote actual job. If you want to fault others for how they handle their affairs, you'd best have your own in order first. Ugh. Well, good day to you, Mr. Spriggan. I'll see you back at the dorms, Agnes. See you tomorrow, Agnes! Don't come home too late! Aren't you going to say anything, Dad? Anything at all? You aren't going to tell me to give up my dangerous part-time job? Or not to go traveling without permission? Your grades meet my expectations. Your attendance is solid, and your lateness the other day was relatively minor. Your reputation as part of the student council is also excellent. As far as the public eye is concerned, you're conducting yourself well. I see no reason to dictate what you do with your personal time. <laughs> I will ask but two things of you, Agnes. One is to avoid causing any direct trouble for me. The other is to do nothing that would embarrass your mother. As long as you honor those two requests, your life is yours to live. And if you require assistance with anything, you know who to call. They will handle almost anything for you. They could probably spare you from needing to do that job of yours in the first place, even.
You got a moment, Van? Perfect. But I'm not the one with the request. I was asked by an acquaintance to hook them up with some FaceTime with you. I gave them your work number, so they should be calling any time now. Up to you whether you take them on, though. worried I wouldn't be able to get through. <laughs> I see a new face among your number, too. In any case, I'm very much hoping to work with you. Your team just seems like the most reasonable option. In this line of work, image is everything. So I really don't want to get the police involved and turn this into a big deal. But the guild isn't really suited to delicate matters like these either. You'd be protecting the film festival. That's quite a task. If you are willing to do this, I'd like you to plan to arrive in Tharbad the day after tomorrow. I'd then like you to nose around for any suspicious activity during the three days leading up to the festival. However you do that is up to you, of course. I'm aware you traditionally handle requests through that 4SPG system of yours. Myself and the other client will provide for your expenses and compensation out of our personal funds, too. Hmm? 
What is it? I'm sorry for imposing on you. It's just that I only really decided after meeting you in person. Oh, uh, but considering the short notice, maybe I could offer you a little something extra to sweeten the deal? I'd be happy to treat you to a limited edition confection available at the Aljamira, a six-star hotel in Tharbad. It's called Melfita, a type of chocolate made using camel's milk. They combine it with highly valuable cacao pulp too, I believe. The result is a unique, full-bodied sweetness that caresses your tongue. <laughs> I'll have to thank Dingo for his advice. I'll be looking forward to your response then, Mr. Arkride. Taking off now. Gonna eat something? Hey, welcome. Thanks, pal. Off we go. What the hell is this? Why was that girl they just brought in pushed to the back of the list? With the flick of a pen, you decided her fate. Do you get a kick out of holding people's lives in the palm of your hand? Pull yourself together! You aren't a bright-eyed student anymore! The probability of us saving that girl is slim to none. Triage exists so we can save as many lives as possible. Open your eyes to reality! Screw reality! At least... At least give me an emergency medical tent I can use. I'll save that girl. Even if I have to do it myself.
You scratch my back, I scratch yours, Spriggan.
Well, we're on the clock now. That hits the spot. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Commencing battle. Proceed with caution. Enemy suppressed. Nice work. Gotcha. One more. Well, away we go. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Let's get to work. Combat over. Processing data. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Whew, that hits the spot. Shards! Displaying enemy stats! Use a shard boost to get the upper hand! 
Zypha, activate! Eat this! Here goes! Here goes! Brace yourself! This'll hurt. You'll pay for that. Aerial Buster! Chance!
That takes care of that.
I'm glad the rain finally let up. The weather tomorrow should be lovely. Why, I'm out on patrol, silly. I have to make sure students are behaving themselves, new and old alike. <laughs> Call me whatever you like, though I am pretty used to my new name now. It's really good to see you too, Spriggan. I came over as an exchange student this past spring, but had I known how much you miss me, I would have paid you a visit a lot sooner. <laughs> I had a feeling you might be involved with that based on what that reporter was telling me about it. I didn't think I'd end up student council president as a result of it all, but it's been a lot more fun than I was expecting. I think I'm a little past young at this point. <laughs> think nothing of it. I have some other business to take care of outside of the office as it is. <laughs> My apologies. My name is Kilika Ruran, Chief of the CID's Integrated Analysis Division. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Arkride, even if this does not quite feel like our first meeting. That he did, including everything that went on behind the scenes two years ago. Sorry for the wait, Kilika. Uh, what did I just walk in on? Sorry, an urgent job came in. I finished it off as quickly as I could. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you here, though. Oh yeah, that was at the wedding, wasn't it? Man, you've really grown up. <laughs> Hard to believe you're that same little girl that knocked us out in Grand Cell all those years ago.
When I found you five years ago, you were still lost and trying to find your place in the world. I'd only just finished my training and was still getting a feel for what it was to be a Spriggan. I'll admit I kept you safe for a while and gave you a few pointers, but I never really could do much for you. Meanwhile, you managed to build yourself a new life, new friendships, <laughs> hell, a whole new family, all on your own. You're no lost kitten anymore. You're as fine a lady as any. So, is this how you treat all the young ladies you keep company with? Oh, uh, <laughs> guess not. You say you never did much for me, but you give yourself far too little credit. It's not just me you've helped either. Take your old friend, that Bracer girl, for example. Or what about your assistants, including my dear doormate? You help more people than you think. People who wouldn't have found themselves without you to take them by the hand and show them the way. I... If you ask me, you need to be a little more aware of the impact your words and deeds have had on people. If you can manage that, then I might even be willing to overlook a little head pad every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I think I'll be off now. Good night, Mr. Spriggan. Yeah. Good night. Man, she's grown more than I could have ever imagined. And I know she's nowhere near done. I'll have to keep an eye on her the same way I do my part-timers, now that fate's brought us back together like this.
Hello, Mr. Arkride. I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Oh. I see that I did. I'm very sorry. I didn't know you were with your employees. Oh, I see. Not at all. What I wanted to discuss is hardly urgent. I simply noticed a number of irregularities in the last set of data you sent me. And as your service provider, I cannot help but be concerned. I am deeply worried on a personal level too, considering I am charged with your care. Oh, please wait! Thank you. 